Hello guys, welcome to the new video. I've seen on YouTube there are too many videos about jailbreak tweaks for your jailbroken iPad, so I've decided to do this. And I also thank my one of my viewers who suggested this uh, video. So let's get on to it. The first tweak I want to show you is called a pace. A pace tweak is a paid tweak and it gives you additional options for your iPad or your, your applications on your iPad. When you hold it like this, you get this menu and you can click on it and you get additional settings for each of the app. So you can uh, have brightness separately selected, you can have the volume, also you can decide what to do with Wi-Fi, maybe you want to turn off the Wi-Fi for certain apps or you want to turn it on, so it all depends. So each app gets this separate menu and you can click on a page and you can you can separately separately make it work. The next one is a free tweak CC modules and it works extremely well on I on jailbroken iPad. This is iPad Pro by the way, 2018 model. So the CC modules is a free tweak that brings you additional settings to your control center, which is very useful on the uh, iPad. So you can have additional settings like CDR, like uh, kill background, or lock device, respring, reboot, safe mode. You can put them there and you can have these uh, settings in your CC modules here and which is very good because uh, you have the big screen on the iPad or and you can utilize more of these uh, settings here so CC modules enables you to to add extra functionality to your control center for every heavy user of YouTube I've shown this tweak before I'm showing it again it's circube for YouTube especially useful for the big screens big iPad it's a paid tweak but it's really worth it so whenever you go into your videos something that you are uh, watching more often so you can just click on this button and you get this option add to downloads immediately you will be brought to the menu where you can download the entire file you can choose the quality of the of the file or you can which i like very much you can have only audio if you want to download a certain song once you do it uh, the download uh, starts and you can see that you are downloading that file and you can watch it offline later on the next week is dark keys and i'm using it across of all my devices and uh, it enables the keyboard to be completely dark. There is not too much settings, but whatever you do, if even if you make it smaller or even if you uh, spread it across your screen, it's very nice looking uh, keyboard. So this is Dark Keys available for free on the Dynastic Repo. Dawn is a very cool tweak uh, uh, which darkens your uh, notifications, your widgets on the side, your folders as you can see. So everything is darkened based on your based on your preferences. So you can set it up. It's very simple. It's a free tweak from Big Boss Repo, and you know I I prefer have having all these different settings kind of dark. So this is Dawn. Okay, there are many uh, tweaks that do the similar thing, which move your uh, date and your time on the, on the separate part of the screen, sometimes to the right, to the left, changes your font, etc. So this is thanks to the free tweak called the dress. So I, uh, there is something similar like April tweak or jellyfish or others, but now I'm just, uh, for the sake of this video, I'm showing you dress. Very nice, very cool tweak. Next one is a paid tweak called the dyadic. Dyads basically means double or two or pairs. So as you can see the difference here in my control center, when I invoke the control center, I also get these widgets at the same time. So you have dyads, two things. You have control center on one side and you can have the widgets on the left side. So this also makes your uh, big screen on iPad uh, really much more functional. So whenever you invoke your control center, you will see your widgets on the left hand side. So this is also a very nice tweak. It's a paid tweak. I'm going to show you another amazing tweak. I've shown this in, in my earliest videos. It's called Frame, but I've shown it on iPhone 10 with a smaller screen. So this is now on a big screen. As you can see, you can see the video, any video you put 
uh, it can serve as your moving wallpaper. So this is frame, it's free tweak, and it moves everywhere, sorry, everywhere on the screen if you use it. I'm sometimes worried about consumption of the battery for these kind of tweaks, but uh, in this case, it really looks amazing. So this is, this is frame tweak. The next tweak is called I Faded, and this is free tweak, which we usually uh, there are many tweaks which give you which give you the switcher the look of your switcher uh, on your iphone to make it look like the switcher on the ipad you know with those cards all over the place so i fade it does the opposite thing so it gives you the switcher that looks like iphone switcher on your ipad so when you invoke the multitasking you see that your apps are looking as as they would on your on your iphone so this is the only thing that this tweak does. I fade it. I've been looking for a, a suitable tweak for my iPad to kill all the background uh, apps. I wasn't that lucky, but I've chosen to have Kill Background 13, which is a paid tweak. And it gives you, if you do this, you can kill your apps like this. So you swipe down and you can kill all the apps in your background. So this is Kill Background 13. We have another paid tweak called Last Look, and this is two bucks tweak, and I like it. Uh, last Look means that when you lock your device, uh, the developer wanted to give us the option to give one last look at the time and the, and the date. So when you lock your device, you can still see for a couple of seconds the time and the date, and it easily and it easily fades out. So I think it's kind of nice tweak. It's called Last Look. So if you guys like it, you know, go ahead and purchase it. The next one is very useful for multitasking for big screens. It's called Milky Way 2. So when you invoke multitasking, you can have different different apps. So I can take this YouTube Studio and I can keep it on the phone. You just on the sorry on the iPad. So you can just move it around and continue doing whatever you do. And this is active window, by the way. So you can have like, I don't know, some other app. You can do this as well, hold it, sorry. You can hold it and it, again, it appears here as a separate window. So you can close everything. You can keep these two windows and still operate while you have something else uh, working on. So it's a very useful, especially if you have the big screen, so you can you can actually maybe type something that's written here, copy something from one screen to another, and uh, that's basically it. So this is this is Milky Way 2. No more small apps is a tweak which makes every app, even if it's not fit for iPad, make it it makes it full screen and uh, it kind of looks good until the developers, you know create iPad version so like you have for Instagram if you don't have you know if when you install this tweak you can see that the entire screen is covered with Instagram app even though we know that Instagram app is not fit for for the big iPad screens so this is no more small apps pancake is a tweak which is very good for big screens it enables that you can go back uh, within the app just by uh, swiping anywhere on the screen. So if I want to go to this app, to settings, I want to go here, you know I need to go usually like this, and I'll tap back, back, etc. So with this, I can just swipe anywhere on the screen and I can easily return to the uh, beginning, beginning screens. See, that's how it works. This is Pancake. Settings widget is a free tweak that just puts these basic two widgets on the top of your settings bar in your iPad, which kind of gives it like a very nice and cool look. You can see your battery percentage all the time. You can see your uh, storage. So this is basically the only thing that this tweak does. It's called settings widget. I've shown this amazing tweak before. I'm showing it again. It's called Snapper 2. I'm showing it again because it's very, very useful for your, for your big screen iPads. Snapper 2 is a paid tweak. It's gonna cost you $3. But before you even begin using it on iPad, I suggest you go into the settings of the tweak and go to the iPad settings. So you need to click this iPad rotation fix. Otherwise, you might have issues with, with taking the screenshots. So what does this do? When you do the screenshot like this, it gives you the option to, you know, select any part of the screen, 
the way you prefer double tap here and you can save this so it, it remains on the screen anywhere you want you can save it as a text as OCR so you can recognize the text you can save it in your uh, photos for later use or you can just you know remove it so this is a very cool tweak. It also works very nicely with the, with the pen. So I can do this and I can, you know, move it around, copy it anywhere I like, you know, go into the settings, into the calendar or, or use it, whatever. So this is an amazing tweak again, Snapper 2. Another paid tweak and very good tweak for the uh, big screen iPad, it's Springtomize 5. Why is it good for iPad? Because I'm able to use the full capacity of the screen and add more rows and more uh, columns on my on my iPad so I don't even have to have to, uh, to go to another page I just stay on one page and I can see all my all my apps on one page also uh, there are many settings here uh, what I did also I removed the background of the dock I, I think it looks kind of nice you can select you can make it uh, look though any way you want so this is with links together another page week which gives you, I think, the most options to customize any iDevice. But mainly, why I use this tweak on iPad, to have this many icons at the same time. Another great paid tweak is called Switcher. And the Switcher also, uh, you know, makes use, very good use of your big screen, especially if you're multitasking a lot and you have uh, several apps invoked or open at the same time. So here you can see there is this nod or whatever you want to call it. You click on it and you can get these applications as shortcuts for wherever you use it. So you have them for quick access. So this is what this tweak does. It's Switcher. Another paid tweak extremely useful for your iPad, it's called Titan. Titan is a tweak which enables native or like picture-in-picture uh, uh, -picture mode uh, in every application that plays videos. So I'm currently in the um, in Netflix application, I'm gonna play, whoops, sorry. So I'm gonna play a video and when I look, go out, you see immediately it gives me this option that I can put it anywhere on the screen and continue watching watching the show. So this is pretty amazing tweak and I highly recommend it. It's Titan. And the last but not least is a free tweak called Vesta. Vesta is a tweak which uh, re can remind you of uh, iPad, uh, sorry, not iPad, Android app drawer. So when I pull like this you can see that I can invoke my entire set of apps that I have installed on my iPad so just by pulling it from the uh, lower right of course you can customize it in settings you can have all your apps available uh, let me see when I'm in the other app I mean any other app you see you can always invoke it and you can you know operate and see what you need and uh, start it immediately so this is the last week it's called Vesta I really hope you enjoy this video guys it's been great pleasure creating a video about the uh, 20 iPad tweaks which might be useful for your uh, jailbroken an iPad, especially good one for the iPad Pro devices. So hope you enjoyed it. All the best. Bye. <laughs>